Hello everybody, Burnt Oak Guy here, and welcome back. So in the last episode, we made ourselves computers. Oh yeah, and we're going to snag some of these computers, because today we have a few things that we're going to do. And in between episodes, I did like I said I would. I upgraded all the belts and all the lift carriages to tier 4 belts. Oh yeah. Only the ones on the exterior though, I didn't do anything on the interior yet. Uh, mainly because I don't think we actually need to feed it that much material just yet. Anyways. But enough of that jibber jabber. What we need to do today is we need to unlock Jetpack. Oh yeah, this is what we need to do, baby. We need this jetpack. We need it bad. Because I want to fly like an eagle. Gah. So. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and has provided a jetpack which operates on oil-based fuel for increased navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. Awesome. Totally awesome. So you heard what you said, eh? It uh, works on fuel only. So, what do we got here? Uh, there we go. Jetpack. So, rubber, circuit boards, and plastic. Okay, I can do that off cam. I'll get that hooked up. And here we go. Oh my god. Jetpack. Sweetness. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! What the hell? Ah. Oh, life is about to get so much better. Oh man. But it's expensive on gas. That cost me two fuel. Wow. Okay, so always make sure you have lots of fuel with you. Alright, so that's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, so we have uh, our goal for today. We're going to head out towards... Um, over here, if I'm not mistaken. This is going to take a little while, because it's like 2,300 meters that way. So in the meantime, I can kind of get this ready. Some of those ready. Get my nuts in my hands, and uh, yeah, let's go clean up my inventory a little bit too. Uh, I'm sure I won't need some of these. That, that, not that. Sort. That should be good. So, 2,300 meters in that direction over there. So, yep, it's gonna be quite the trick. Alright, so before we go out there and um, cause some havoc in the world, uh, let's do a little bit of research. I know there's some uh, some weapons we could be getting, and that could be very handy and helpful for us. So let's start off with doing some research. Um, we'll do some cuts, and we'll do in and out uh, for a little bit of research. And at the same time, in between, I'll start building uh, my way over to where the oil is. Uh, there are four nodes over there. Um, we'll take advantage of those four nodes. So we'll bring three back and we'll send it into our factories over here. And then the other one, we'll use it to make gas and we'll power a new new generation of power plants so that's going to be the plan so I got a multiple task going on here today so I want to do some research because uh, that's going to be very handy for us and at the same time I might even uh, start unlocking the stuff that's in here because we have the gas mask and the train to do and I think both would be also very beneficial to us um, there are some power slugs that are nearby and elsewhere that uh, are in these poisonous areas that I'd like to get to. So I think that would be a good thing for us to have is also the gas mask available to us. So I'm gonna go and prepare what I need for some upgrades and uh, we'll do a two in one and three in one stone episode there. All right, just marvelous now. Let's go and put these all in here. Uh, the motors, some computers. 
And this will get us the gas mask. Oops, wrong thing. Gas masks and filter parts will ensure increased odds of survival in gas-based hazardous environments. Fixit Incorporated would like to extend the friendly advice to not forget to change filters regularly. Awesome. So now we can make filters for this thing uh, and the gas mask itself. So I know you're going to need fabric for that, if I'm not mistaken. And you're going to need, what else? Coal, rubber, and fabric. So fabric you get from the mycelium, not the biomass mycelium, just the mycelium itself. So, um, I believe I have some. So, we can go and just do this. Oh, I don't want that. Where do you, my, where's the fabric? Oh, what else do you need with it? Oh, you do need biomass. Oh, okay. So, maybe I got fuel. Mm, I got fuel. But I don't have any leaves and stuff. Alright, so I guess I'll grab some leaves and all that good stuff and I'll make some fabric off cam because one of the researches is fabric as well too, so we'll make enough for that. So I guess uh, I'm going to collect some biomass. Alright, the ship just landed and let's go send it back off. We'll go unlock the uh, rails now. So hopefully I brought enough of this stuff. I think I did. I think we're going to be good. Awesome. So, go ahead, Ada. Milestone reached. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long-range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. Awesome. That is so awesome. We're now going to be able to implement trains. So now this research research should be done. Additional samples are required for R&D to continue developing a defense-oriented blueprint. The creature has been named Phacocoirus plumius cotta or fluffy-tailed hog. Alright. So they're going to need more alien carapaces afterwards, so we'll do that. So we'll do the, um, the fabric, since that was one of the ones that uh, we needed to get done. Uh, I did go ahead and make a bunch of fabric over here. Do, do, do. So we'll just toss that in there. Um, this way we'll be able to make some filters. I just need to go and uh, pillage some rubber and we'll be good for go. Uh, that gives us all of our research done for now at the very moment. I think I have enough uh, modular frames and all that stuff to get done so to do the last upgrade for that so I guess we'll do that next too and we'll continue on with our research so yeah. Alrighty now so we got uh, 1000 motors oh yeah 1000 motors Okie dokie, so now we have the motors in here. Now it's time to put in the modular frames. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so awesome. Can't believe it. Now the motors, which were the last thing we did in the last episode. This is so wicked. Oh my god, that is so much stuff. Alright, so we're going to load it. Oh no, I'm missing 100? Oh, my bad math. Really? That's crazy. I'm sure I had another hundred here. Perfect. Oh, phew. Jeez. I almost thought I had to run all the way back over there for those 100. There we go. Now we can seal that. Oh, yeah. Take that to the bank, baby. And let's send it away. Oh, man. Tier 7 and 8. Here we come. Oh, yeah. Take it. Take all my stuff. Give me that technology. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Upgrading is so much fun. Uh, what are we giving me? Oh, that looks so awesome. But what are we giving me? No, no Ada talking. No nothing. Just you go up there and what? I have to wait till the pod returns. Really? What? Or is that that pod? 
I don't know what pod. I sent so many things off. I think that's the pod. I think that's the pod, right? And the other one's the dropship. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, I gotta wait again. So the drop pod is about to come back. Um, that is already back, by the way, and it had nothing to do with it. It's, uh, we were looking at the active milestones. We need to go select a milestone, and, uh, they were here. And speaking of the, uh, the drop pod, here it comes. So we can do all of this, uh, to unlock the nuclear, and we can unlock this here as well. So that's going to be pretty awesome. The only thing we have to let the factory run for a little while and make some more heavy modular frames. I use them all uh, to unlock this. Um, so yeah, that's probably a few hours of AFKing, letting the factory do its thing. Um, but other than that, that research should be done. So let's go ahead and take a look at that research. All right, confirm. This fabric is suitable for the creation of parachutes. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. All right, that's cool. So now we're gonna do these ones. So let's go check out Hub Tier 2 and see what's in that. Uh, parachute. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's pretty neat. Um, we'll unlock that later, I guess, uh, unless we have it. 100, 100, and 250. Do we have that on us here? Um, um, there's 100 of those. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Um, oh, there's a hundred plates. Oh, and there's the G50. Wow! Alright. A little personal storage is getting a little, uh, a little hurt in there, but that's fine. There we go. We'll just toss all that in here and send you on your way. Excellent. So now, these got parachutes. Booyah! Excellent. I'll just throw you in there for now, I guess. Don't really need you. I think we're done with the alien carapaces. I'm not 100% sure. Don't know if there's another upgrade for that afterwards. We'll just put those there for now. Um, and that's it. So we'll wait till that comes back. That's going to be a short trip. And we got that research to wait for. Alright, our research is now complete. R&D has repurposed a common engineering tool to assist you in your defense against the local wildlife and provided an extra equipment slot. The blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 3. Oh, there's five more. There's more. There's more. Oh, that's good. Oh, alien organs. Oh, <gasps> I know. I gotta find different bibits. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, so we'll do sulfur for now. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so now um, we'll put you back and we'll put you there. Let's go make our gas mask. So we can come down here. We'll make one gas mask. Do 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 do. Bam! All right, so now we got a gas mask. Sweet. Let's go make some filters. Uh, get off of that wall. Bam! Mm, filters. I can make 120. Do I want to make 120? Sure. Let's make a lot of filters. What do these things stack at? Mm. Pretty good so far. We're at over uh, maybe 50? Is that what they're going to stack at? Alright, you can do it. Don't let go of the button. Oh, it's because I'm moving the mouse. That's really horrible. Okay, so they stack at 50. Okay, so we'll do two at 50 and I'll save the rest for now. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. And then that way it'll give us enough to go through uh, some of the stinky areas around here and get some of the power slugs. Um, I know I did one of the researches for the power slugs, the yellow one off cam. Um, that wasn't much of a big deal. Like. All right, so there we go. So let's test this thing out. We have uh, our first one right here. So where does this go? I would assume on your body. So that means you can't use your jetpack during that time. Oh, well, that's kind of stupid. Huh. So I'd have to build my way up there first, and then... 
Oh, well, not really. I could... I could cheat a bit. I'd have to get some materials and stuff and build myself a tower and just jump off the tower and go on and get it. But I don't have anything on me right now. Alright, so I'll prepare to get onto my adventure and some building supplies and all that good stuff. And I'll go show you what I've done over there so far. And maybe collect a few slugs along the way. I know there's some bad guys over there. Oh, um, there was stuff that they said there was upgradable in here too. Two or three. So we got our parachute. Um, rebar gun. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want this. Yeah. And um, I think I did the parachute on cam, but uh, I think um, what happened was I had a, a, a set the computer turned off. I think there was a power surge while I was gone. I had let my game go AFK right after I did that, so I had to do a bunch of stuff over again. Um, where did I put all that stuff now? Because I moved stuff since. <laughs> oh no. Probably in the first two here. So here's that. Um, there's my plates. And uh, where did that wire go? Wire's right here now. Alright, so let's go send that off. And then we'll do the rebar gun. That kind of sucks. I forgot about that one. I guess that was the only one I forgot left to do. So, then we'll do the rebar gun. And we'll get some ammo. And then we'll be off to our adventure. Yes, that sounds like a plan. Oh my god. Now, let's do the uh, rebar gun. I got everything we need right here. Oh yeah. New equipment and parts. It she didn't have anything to say. All right. Let's go take a look at this. Rebar, rebar gun right here. Duh. Uh, reinforced plates, easy. Iron rods, easy. And screws. That's really easy. It's like right here. Uh, reinforced plates, some screws. And I think I have them in here. I think that's what it was. Rods, right? Yep. So let's make ourselves a rebar gun. Oh yeah. Now what do we need for these? Uh, that's it? Oh, okay. Let's uh, go make a bunch of them. There. And then that way, we can shoot all kinds of things. Alright, well that's pretty awesome. Now we've got a gun. <laughs> Watch out. Uh, I know there's explosives, and I know there's a semi-automatic kind of one of these. Oh, stop moving the mouse there, Bog. Um... Yeah, there's a semi-automatic one, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I think that's what you need, the alien, uh, what was the alien organs, I think the other one is now. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have to be on the lookout for those and try to, well, what kind of bits haven't we killed yet? Uh, must be the big spiders or something like that. There's big spiders and there's other enemies that are just slightly more armored and I don't know, we'll, we'll find out, we'll find out. So hopefully we got enough uh, inventory space for some extra ammo on us as we go through all this. I don't think I'm going to be needing anything else, to be honest with you. Um, I'll go check to see if the research is done uh, before. And I think what we'll do is we'll just store some of these in here. Uh, I don't need that. And how about we carry 150 with us? That sounds pretty decent, right? 150. Then I wanted to take all that. I don't think I'm going to need them. What might not I need? Uh, I don't think I'll need plates. I'll bring that for now. Because uh, I don't want to carry too much of an inventory. I don't think I'm going to need that much wire. don't think I'm going to need that many rotors. Alright. I think that should be good. I think that should be good. Uh, let's go check this research out. 
And we'll do the bacon one next, I guess, right? If that's done. Oh, it's not done yet. How long? 40 seconds? See, the alien organs is the other one. Um, hard drives, I don't know if I'm going to really get into that. Maybe once we get really, really far and I'll go around and we'll try to collect all the hard drives we possibly can and unlock all the recipes. Um, maybe we might do some factories later on involving those depending like I don't know uh, I was thinking maybe just this playthrough we stick to all like the normal stuff and then in the next playthrough we do everything load balanced and efficient and with the hard drives I think that would be a good combination so bacon the of sulfur in compounds as acceptable and can be extracted oh, safely no to risk. create gunpowder based explosives <gasps> the derived milestone can be found in tier 4 Further research required for more precise use. <gasps> Did she just say explosives? <laughs> oh, 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 this day is just getting better. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so we're doing this before we go. <laughs> oh my god, this is so awesome. Uh, okay, let me go collect all this stuff and I'll be back. <laughs> Now, let's uh, do this one here. Uh, 2,000 of that, 200 of these, that there. And <laughs> give me explosives. <laughs> oh my god, this poor world. Note, close proximity of detonation is likely to result in suboptimal performance. Oh my lord. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the new thing is we can scan for sulfur. Is there anything sulfur nearby? Let's find out. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got a hit. We got a hit. 800. 900. That's not bad. That's pretty That's pretty close. Hmm. I'll have to find another, um, another coal, though. So if I do a coal and that, what is it? Um, can I make that? If I can make that here, I should be able to make that in... It's a one for two, so that's not bad. So you need one for two. So if I found like a, a pure and a normal, that would be okay. Yeah, that would be fine. Okay, so um, I got explosives now, blah, blah, blah. Um, oops. I think we can put this stuff away and it's time to go for the adventure, finally. There we go. Alright, so that's this stuff right over here. Uh, take all. Just beautiful. So we'll go store those, uh, those friggin' things here. I don't want those on me. That's kind of a. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna need those, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so I'll meet you at the other end where I finish making my sky bridge there and we'll go down and investigate that area together. Alright, so off cam, um, well not really off cam, but like I recorded a part there with uh, me doing the uh, the explosives and all that good stuff. So I got the sulfur now. Uh, we can make, uh, we can scan for sulfur. It wasn't very far. There was two deposits nearby. Um, we can now make... Uh, where is it there? Gunpowder. Yeah, gunpowder here. And then once you make gunpowder, you can make these other things. Uh, they're not there, though. I wonder if they're only made in the other one. In here. Yeah, these right here. The noblisks. And then you're going to need a noblest detonator too, so... Uh, yeah, they popped up. Uh, one is here. 2,000... Oh, I thought there were... 
a little bit closer, but there was two closer. They just disappeared on me, so whatever. Um, we got everything we need. I'm going to head over there now, and we're going to get on with the show. That way we can at least investigate the area, find the nodes, and then in the next episode we'll start laying down uh, everything we need to lay down and figure out how we're going to bring back the oil. All right, so now we're at the uh, at the end where where the sky bridge goes. So it extends way down here, cuts back like this, and goes all the way back to our base over there. So we're still quite a distance away, but yet we're still pretty close to our base. Like we're not uh, super far away. So from what I can tell, there's a power slug right there. I think there's one right there. I think there's another one right there and another one right there so that's really good that's cool for overclocking that's gonna be awesome so I think I think what oh that's poisonous oh that's a power slug right there these things I can't kill yet maybe I can get in there right quick and then run I can try that let me try that all right so jetpack is good and let's go down And oh, I did get hurt a bit. There, let's get the heck out of here. Let's run, boys. Let's run. Okay, so I see an enemy down there. That's not too bad. Um, think I could get over there by flying. I don't know. Where is this enemy down here? He's over on this side, right? wonder what the range of this thing is. Where are you? I hear something. Something's not happy out there. That's for darn sure. Hmm. Alright, so let's try to make this jump. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Power Slug City. Alright, so is that it? Yeah, that was the one that was farthest over. And I thought I seen another one over here. But I see some enemies over there. Let's see if I can shoot these guys. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna have to hit R every time. Oh man. Okay, so they run away. They run away. Um, so, I think we're going to take these guys out the old-fashioned way. I think this would be best. Come on. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, alright. Nice. Okay, so these are the alien organs. Nice, 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 nice. All right. So, um, I thought it said something there. What did this need? Uh, I don't want to pick up any screws. I don't need any more wire. Uh, that's just a modular frame. And this one needs power. Okay. So, let's uh, do, do, go like this. Oh crap, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, e. <laughs> that's really funny that you can do that though. Uh, here we go, 42 megawatts. There we go. At least now I know I gotta bring out power out here somewhere or another and yeah. That's okay, so let's actually eat some nuts. Uh, there was a power slug up there, but I don't know if we should go for it just yet. Because that's a lot of building to get actually get up there, to be honest with you. And we're not here for that, really. We're here to find that oil. So, let's uh, scan for this oil. Aha! Right down there. And the other two are right over there. Oh, let's, let's 
Let's go have a little look-see. What we got here? Oh, Jesus. It's like the 4th of bloody July down here. Oh, man. Uh, okay. I should be able to take you. Can't be afraid of everybody, right? Oh, man. His movement is, like, so weird, though. Come on. It's like you're very, very weird. Aha! Oh, got a double shot in there, didn't you? Wow, you're pretty tough. Nice. Give me those organs. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so that's good. That's good. And that oil was just over here, right? I wonder if you're the big guy that was protecting this area. That would be kind of nice. Alright, so it should be just down here, right? Let's scan that again. Oh, right here. Okay, so we got oil there. The other one is there. Okay, that's good, that's good. So let's go into this area over here, because that's where that other one is. And then uh, once we find it and we make sure it's nice and safe, then we'll call it the episode. And the next episode, we'll start back off here. Oh, look at that. Got a power slug, baby. Nice, come to daddy. All right. Um, how many of those pick up so far? Oops, three. <clears throat> so I need to kill one more guy too. Uh, there's another drop pod down there, so there's a good chance there's somebody down there. Uh, where was that oil again? <laughs> uh, over that way. Okay. Well, I want to go to this drop pod first because there's probably a, an enemy down here. And I can salvage some more nuts at the same time. Yoink. The only thing I wish it did, though, is it would go into the actual inventory that it's supposed to. Oops. Don't want that. That. And see, that didn't even go back into the inventory it was supposed to. That was really weird. Okay, so what do we got down here? Uh, reinforced iron plates. Get some screws. Uh, I guess I'll take some computers. What else? Uh, industrial beams, sure. Uh, Alright, what do you need? Need four rubber? Really? Aha! Uh -huh. That really sucks. Okay, um... Four rubber. Excellent. So, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't see anybody down here to kill. Huh. Still want to try out that rebar gun though on something. That big guy was just a little bit too much for the gun, I think. That's my opinion. I don't think he would have lasted. Like, I could have shot him for quite a while, I think. Anything up here? I guess you'd know you'd hear the the sound of the of those slugs, which is kind of good. Hmm. What else? Oh, there's a parade going on today too. So, oh, here we go. Here's a big spider. See, this spider even moves weird. organs. Nice. Sorry if you hear all these motorcycles and all this noise in the background. It kind of sucks, but... Oh, there's another slug up there. Nice. This is great. Oink. Okay, so our two other oil pods are right here. Got one there and one here. I never even... Oh, I hear another slug. Never even checked out what the other two are. Normal... And this is a normal. Alright, so I hear another slug somewhere. Oh, there it is. Wonder if that's the one that I heard. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll have to find out. Green slug. Awesome. 
Awesome. Oh, no, it was another one right up there. So let's see if I can get up here. Bam. Awesome. That's great. Totally wicked. Nice. That's great. We are up to six now. Oh, I hear another one. I hear another one. Up above here, maybe? Sounds getting louder. Hmm. A lot louder. I'm assuming up on this thing. Oh! It's one of these spheres. Nice. Yoink. That's good, that's good. Okay, so we found the oil, found a bunch of awesome little doodads. Can't wait to find out what those things are going to be for, those uh, spheres. That's pretty awesome. There's also another one too, they're, uh, they're called summer sloop things. Those are pretty awesome. Oh, there, I bet you there's something up there. Knowing that, because the, there's gas, so... Hmm, I'm almost there. Almost there. Wonder if we hog frop over... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll frog hop over this way. And we'll see if we can get that last one. Oh. Oh, I hear one. That's one above me in that in that uh, stinky area. So maybe we can get that one on the way back. <laughs> Turn it into be a pretty good adventure episode here too at the same time, you know. Got to try to keep it interesting. Alright. Ooh, almost fell off there. Okay, I would assume that there'd be something up there too at one point or another. Uh, I should be able to get up here. Oof, that's going to be a big climb. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to make the other one. Alright. Oh, did you hear that? That was weird. Alright, nice. Okay, so that was probably the easiest way to get up. <laughs> and a yellow one. Oh, that's awesome. That's like three power shards, the yellow ones. The, um... Oh, there it is right there. So I need to get over there first before I put on my gas mask. So if I go over here, I should be fine to get over there. Alright, let's do that. This looks like a safe little place to do that. Put on the gas mask. Oop, wrong button. Wrong button again. And uh, we'll throw the gas mask on here. So, got 110. How long does this last for? It's going down fast enough, I guess. Not bad, not bad. I didn't see anything else in here. Or hear anything, so I guess we're good. We can get out of there. Try to save our cartridges. Alright, so looks like we're out. Well, we can take that off. There we go, everybody. I think this is a good safe place to uh, call it end of episode for now. And then I can gather... Uh, some things and make my way up and have it come down properly and do a little bit of planning and that's it so i hope you enjoyed the episode everybody peace take care and we'll see you next time